Greetings. Let's see what's new in FL Studio 12.4. First up, new plug-in time. Transistor bass. Oh yeah, it's a TB303 style emulation indeed. So let's have a closer look at some of the features we've added to this classic workhorse. Of course we have an integrated step sequencer. That's what you were listening to in the demo. And with auto follow selected, you can change the sequence and patch by playing different notes. <laughs> Nice. As you can see on the front panel, we've added distortion, delay, and reverb. So you can create that unique sound all in one plugin. To match the note control, we have 127 sequence slots and 127 patch or bank slots. Up to the right, we have some unique space saving user interface controls. Show only the parts you need. And we even have some themes to match your creative mood. Black, blue, dark blue. Okay, so being a producer is a lonely life. Oh, and acid. We are super excited to announce FL Studio Mobile as a native FL Studio plugin. You can bring your mobile projects into FL Studio from the Android, iOS, Windows app, and yes, even Windows Phone version, and take it to the next level. FL Studio Mobile is now your door within a door, and it's identical to the mobile version. No translations necessary. FL Studio Mobile includes its own playlist, channel rack, step sequencer, Piano roll, mixer, channel settings, internal controllers, and with our own sync function, you can transfer your projects and data via your network, including Wi Fi, from your mobile devices to FL Studio instantly. Updated plugins. We've been busy converting yet more favourites to vectorial interfaces. Let's take a look. Alright, that makes 47 plugins vectorialized since the FL Studio 12 launch. And there's more to come. Yes, all plugins will get the vectorial treatment as soon as we can. Colors. 
This isn't really new for FL Studio 12.4, as we snuck it into 12.3, but we were too scared to tell anyone. But it's okay, we've seen the psychologist, and we're in a happy place now with unlocked colours. For a long time now, the image line colour police prevented you from selecting anything but muted and desaturated colours. How sad. But no more. Now when you select the plus button on the colour chooser, you can not only select bright colours, but you'll actually get what you ask for. Oh, that's lurid. Happy place. Calm. Breathing. OK, and it works in the playlist and the mixer as you would expect. Anywhere you can choose colours. Don't forget the mixer interacts with the view colour mixer options. So make sure that's on high if you want the full effect. If you choose some very bright options like white, you may lose sight of your labels. If that happens, you can turn on view, alternate mixer highlighting, and all will be revealed. There's also a handy box around the selected track number. Custom automation formula. Let's get nerdy. I'm sure you're all familiar with the right click link to the controller pop-up. And on here is the mapping formula selection where you can customize the mapping relationship. You may have missed the preset mapping formula menu. Let's choose Steppy. Now you can see, compared to the original automation, it's well steppy. So now you can add your own user defined formula to the menu here on the right. How to do that? Open the FL Studio installation folder and then under System, Config, and Mapping, you will find the text file formulas.txt. All you need to do is open and edit in your own formulas. The format is the menu name, followed by a colon, and then the formula. So I'll add one here at the end My Excellent Formula. Add the colon and then the formula. The good old sine multiplied by 0.5 pi minus input times 2 pi, etc. You all paid attention in algebra, no? So when I reopen the link dialog, my excellent formula is an option. Cool. Loop recording. For the longest time now, loop recording audio or MIDI notes in the playlist has been a little glitchy, with notes and audio at the start of the loops being chopped off and less than smooth looping. Well, we fixed that. As a quick demo, I'll loop record a section of this new demo project by MDK. It's in the projects folder if you want to take a look. Normally, you'd loop record an external audio input like a vocal or an instrument. But as you won't catch me singing or playing, I'll take the one that's already in the project here, Miss Lena. So switch on loop recording, arm for record, and here I'll choose the master mixer track to record the entire project audio. Why not? That's it. Smooth and complete. Most importantly, there's no missing start of the loop. Input quantization. Right clicking the record button has some new MIDI quantized features. Most importantly, note start and end, and an option to leave the duration. To illustrate, at the top, you can see the original note. Notice it's not touching the main grid lines. So one, selecting quantize start, will extend the start to the grid. Two, quantize end, will do the same at the end. And three, start and end logically quantizes both. And four, start plus leave duration, will move the note forward rather than extending it. So the duration stays intact as played. Check the manual for more details. And with that, I'll leave you to download and enjoy FL Studio 12.4 free update. Here we go! Through my veins, what does it mean?
Oh, oh, oh.